Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be doing an in-depth demonstration of the differences between RPCS3, a PlayStation 3 emulator, and Xenia, an emulator for the Xbox 360, using Red Dead Redemption as our reference. I'm going to be taking a look at a variety of both rendered cutscenes and gameplay scenarios to see exactly what the difference is between these two emulators, both from a performance standpoint in relation to GPU and CPU utilization, and also in relation to the game's stability and playability on both emulators. Now, this is a video I have personally wanted to make for a long time now, especially so since we learned that the VSync enforced frame cap for Red Dead Redemption on Xenia is now able to be removed. This removal of the VSync limit basically allows us players to have a 60 frames per second, or at least close to 60 frames per second experience in Red Dead Redemption for the very first time. Red Dead Redemption's emulation is especially interesting to me, since not only is this game now available and semi-playable on both of these emulated platforms, but the game itself has, at least right at time of making this video, never been released on PC, obviously outside of streaming platforms like PS Now. Now, let's talk a little bit about the system specs used for this demonstration just for a moment. The computer used for this comparison comprises of an i7-8700K, that's a 6-core, 12-thread CPU clocked at 4.9GHz. The GPU used is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, and just to make you guys aware of it, the RAM used in both of these test cases was 16GB of Corsair Vengeance CL16 clocked at 3200MHz. For parity, I also had both copies of both games stored on the exact same hard drive. For this use case, I am using a 7200 RPM Western Digital Blue. To be honest though, outside of some level load time differences when having the game files stored on an SSD, throughout my extensive testing for this video, I saw absolutely no performance differences at all on either emulators when storing your games files on a faster drive. Okay, so back to the games and the emulators. In relation to the graphics APIs used, with Xenia first of all we are going to be using DirectX 12, and with RPCS3 we are going to be utilizing the Vulkan API. Again, this allows us to draw an interesting comparison, but to be honest, it's not going to be a very accurate one, as both emulators are very, very different in scale and exactly how they work. For further note, again for comparison parity, I am running both games in both emulators at 720p. Doing so not only runs them at their native resolutions of the original consoles, or at least as close to their native resolutions as I could possibly get, but it also allows an accurate comparison to be drawn between the two. Another important piece of information you should know is that while at 720p Xenia does perform a lot better than RPCS3, these performance numbers are brought to an almost neck and neck state when using the upscaling technologies built into both emulators and running both games at 1440p resolution. As should be very clear in the performance overlays, even at this low resolution of 720p you can already see that GPU utilization wise, Xenia is almost hitting the GPU usage cap, while RPCS3 on the other hand has a hell of a lot of usage headroom to spare. It is for this exact reason that the performance numbers come a lot closer together when both games are run at 1440p. CPU usage wise however, it's pretty clear that RPCS3 not only needs a fast CPU in order to get these kind of frame rates, it also requires high core and thread amounts due to the way in which this emulator and indeed the original PlayStation 3 works. Xenia on the other hand, as we discussed previously, is much much more GPU reliant and isn't terribly CPU demanding. The extremely high GPU usage is an extreme limiting factor for a lot of users though, and it is only through the brute strength of a 1080 Ti that I am able to achieve the performance levels you're seeing in gameplay right now. 
Okay, so next up, I want to briefly talk about the actual playability and stability of both of these games on both of these emulators. While at face value and based off the numbers you're seeing so far, Xenia looks to be the better option, Red Dead Redemption's playability on this emulator is hindered by several CPU timing issues currently that cause critical game events to not trigger. An example of these critical game events include the startings and ending of missions and also certain checkpoints in certain missions that are required to be triggered in order for said missions to progress. This issue alone makes it very, very hard for me to recommend users to play this game on Xenia, and while some of these issues can be worked around by editing the CPU's scalar time in the emulator itself, it's not exactly an ideal situation and makes playing the game feel like more of a chore than an actual decent gameplay experience. RPCS3 on the other side of the coin doesn't have any of these timing issues and despite the much much poorer performance levels is now fairly playable on this emulator. That is of course if you were willing to play the game at an average of around 12 to 15 frames per second all while remembering that if you're using a lower spec PC than the one used for this comparison you are going to have a much much lower performance levels. To be honest picking a winner in this comparison is pretty difficult. For me, I would have to say RPC S3 wins mostly due to its ability to play through the game without having to make any adjustments or apply any workarounds, but for most other users it remains a case of it depends. If your PC is beefy enough to give you playable frame rates on RPCS3, you'll be able to do so, but if not, Xenia can still offer you a way to play and test this game on your PC. If you wish to see specific points of gameplay, I will have timestamped all of the major sections I tested and I will have listed them down in the description of this video. If you have any questions in relation to anything covered in this video, or indeed anything in relation to either of these emulators, do not be afraid to leave a comment down below, or indeed if you have any additional questions, we have a Discord server, so please join there and ask any questions you could possibly have. I'm going to leave you guys with the remaining benchmarked areas. Once again, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me. Worst bandit in the county to die, Mr. Er Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh... What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Well, hello, Mr. Drummond. I hope you're keeping well.
right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Oh, that's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. 